Hobbs, Media Matters, all of them. What do you make of them coming out and, 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 and having an article, I'm a pedophile, but I'm not a monster, and it's the beginning of just accept me, it's no big deal. We knew this was coming now that they've sexualized our children in the schools, and so now uh, it begins, David Knight. I mean, there seems to be no end to this. As we said last night when we covered that, uh, I, w I was covering it with Leanne McAdoo as part of the Nightly News. He's talking about sexual orientation, and he begins the article by saying, I was born missing one of my hands. But that was nothing compared to what nature dealt me in terms of my sexual preferences. Now, he talks about how he's celibate. That's the way they're gradually going to roll it out. A pity for this guy. This is something that's just his sexual orientation. And then it'll be, be the parents will be on the rights. news proud of them giving yeah. their five-year-old to, to pedophiles. It'll be, my yeah. son Billy has an orientation. He likes 50-year-old men. And then they'll just, and they'll go, oh, and then they'll have them on ESPN and go, oh, that's so good. Sorry, go ahead. I, I would be very surprised to see this pope talking at all about the disintegration of the traditional family here in America, which is basically, that, that's been the core of their concerns uh, through my entire lifetime. Certainly, that's been the key thing they've talked about, talking about keeping the family together, stopping divorce, traditional marriage between a man and a woman, and preventing abortion. Has he said anything about those things? I haven't seen no, anything. No, the first thing he said when he got in a few years ago, agenda. first thing he said was, is Catholics need to stop obsessing on abortion. Yes, yes, exactly. And, of course, there's going to be some uh, people here. There, there's a back and forth as to whether or not Obama is going to embarrass the pope by having some gay activists and some transgender people in here. I don't think there's anything about it. He hasn't seemed to be concerned whatsoever about that. So it's all about the globalist agenda, Alex, whether they're talking about climate change, whether they're talking about open borders, whether they're talking about greed and the marketplace. And we need to understand that when he talks about this, he's not talking about real free markets. He's talking about crony capitalism. He's talking about the kind of economic fascism that they had in Argentina. That was set up by the Peronistas. Many people are saying, is he a Marxist? Is he a fascist? Is he a Peronista? It doesn't really matter. He's a triple agent. All... He yeah, sold exactly. out. He sold out capitalist and communist. He's an inside triple globalist agent. Boom, we can't get fooled again. Introducing Secret 12, the new InfoWars Life Vitamin B12 formulation. Most forms of vitamin B12 are highly processed and synthetic and could not be properly absorbed by the body. That's why for real results, so many are having to turn to painful B12 injections, which are known to have higher absorption rates. Now, InfoWarsLife.com is excited to announce that we can bring you our most bioactive, powerful form of B12 that has been developed with our exclusive perfected process. Secret 12 is a binary of nutramedical grade bioavailable coenzyme forms of B12, methylcobalamin, the same kind used in B12 injections, and adenosylcobalamin. Secret 12 is simply taken by mouth, right on the tongue, and then swallowed. No needles, no injections. Don't take my word for it. Try it for yourself. Discover the secret. Secret 12. Secure your revolutionary Secret 12 formula right now at InfoWarsLife.com or call 888-253-3139. Brain force is here. Ladies and gentlemen, I've been on this the last few months. You probably noticed I've been more crazed, more focused, less brain fog, more energy, more special reports, and it's because of brain force. One of the worst things with most energy products is it's not sustainable, right? You're gonna crash afterwards, really bad afterwards. This has a bunch of different antioxidants and compounds and polyphenols. Everybody's on these drugs to knock their brain out because the brain's so fried. We kept changing this formula over and over and over again until it became sort of a grand puzzle. For example, the L-theanine inside of it, that is activated by the different compounds in the yerba mate that we put inside of it as well. This just increases the compounds you already have. This is what you're actually designed to run on. Exactly. It's kind of like a car will run on one form of junkie gas, but it runs really good on what it's designed for. Still damaging your brain. You will find Brain Force, Survival Shield X2, and other game-changing products at InfoWarsLife.com. Or call 888-253-3139. The latest in preparedness is now here. An electrically stabilized colloidal silver solution that can be added to both your home cabinet and preparedness pack alike. Concentrated to 30 parts per million. 
in what has been dubbed the Survival Silver Solution. The new InfoWars Live Silver Bullet Colloidal Silver is the answer for you and your family. And it's entirely free of toxic artificial additives that are loaded into many products. The InfoWars Live Silver Bullet Silver is so powerful that it is concentrated into a two ounce bottle and is not recommended for extended continual use. This is not a low grade formula. We are working with one of the top laboratory manufacturers in the United States to bring you the best form of colloidal silver using electrical processes within a base of deionized water. For your preparedness storage or your home kitchen, purchase your bottle of InfoWarsLife.com Silver Bullet Colloidal Silver today. I began to get into iodine a few years ago because it was helping me and my family so much get healthy and detoxify. I believe our research is conclusive. This is the best iodine out there. And I know this for a fact. Nobody else has got iodine based on these pure crystals, ladies and gentlemen. For a limited time, experience the ancient power of Survival Shield X2. I believe our research is conclusive. This is the best iodine out there. Take advantage of this at InfoWarsLife.com. Watching the InfoWars Nightly News, which airs 7 p.m. Central at InfoWarsNews.com. Now we're going to air a clip from the Alex Jones radio show. Diamond and Silk are the North Carolina sisters who stand for the silent majority. They say they want to stump for the Trump. Now you might recognize them. This is Lynette Diamond Hardaway and Rochelle Silk Richardson. And they made headlines in August when they're YouTube video went viral in support of Donald Trump. Thank you for joining us, ladies. Thank you oh, for having, having us. us. Well, uh, I'm the one up here ranting. I want to hear from you. What do you think about Donald Trump now? You still love him as much as you did? Yes, we do. Yes. As a matter of fact, we just changed to Republicans, so we will be voting for him in the primaries. Mm -hmm. And we ask everybody, if the establishment and the GOP don't want to get behind Donald Trump, then we, the American people, have to get behind him. So if you are a Democrat, go switch your party to Republican today. And today. Yeah, so that you can vote for him in the primaries. That's right. What got you guys into Donald Trump? Because he's speaking the American people language. Mm -hmm. He's talking about keeping American people safe by securing our borders, bringing our jobs back where people can thrive again in this country, oh, yeah. and making this country great again where we're united instead of divided. That's right. Well, it, would, it certainly is a positive message he puts out. Uh, I just hope that uh, he's completely sincere. Do you ever worry about him? Because I didn't get you on to put doubts in your mind. I'm actually liking him more and more. Uh, but, you know, when he used to say he liked Hillary and stuff, you think that was just him being friendly? He was probably just being friendly. But listen, this man wants to make America great, mm -hmm. and he don't even want to get paid to do it. That's right. That speaks volumes, and it tells you something about his character. Mm -hmm. He's putting his money where his mouth is. That's right. And he wants to work for the American people, and that's why the American people love him. That's why he's leading the, in the polls, yeah. and that's why he's going to be our next president. And if you go to DiamondSilk.com, you'll see why we stuck for Trump. Yes. So it's, it's, it's his policies. It's why... Uh, you ladies like him. Now, don't lie to me. Do you also think Donald's handsome? Well, we, listen, yes, he's handsome. Yeah. But he's going to be our next president, and that's what we're excited about. That's and right. we want everybody, forget about this media biasness and this propaganda. That's right. Don't pay it no attention. Continue to stop for Trump, because that's what we're going to continue to do, is stop right. for him until we get him in that White House. Oh, yeah. yeah. Sure, I had a guest on yesterday, and I said, listen, we can't pay for all these anchor babies. We're going bankrupt. Europe can't pay for all these immigrants. You know, why isn't the Arab countries taking the immigrants? And the guest said, oh, don't be racist. I mean, why is it that America is the only country that's supposed to pay for everything while we're going bankrupt? What happens when we go bankrupt? Well, you know what? Sometimes uh, we get used so used to uh, robbing Peter to pay Paul. That's right. Charity starts at home. We need to take care of our own citizens first, our veterans, mm -hmm. our people that's living in poverty, mm -hmm. our people that's homeless and talking about Americans, talking about we'll work for food. Mm -hmm. Take care of those people first before we reach outside yes. and start trying to take care of everybody else. That's right. When did you start to follow Donald Trump? I mean, did you read about his politics? You watch him on TV? The uh, first time. 
the first time he announced that he was running for president, mm -hmm. I was in my bedroom watching him on CNN, and mm -hmm. I call him CNN. Uh -huh. And I called Silk. I said, cut the TV on. Donald is on talking about he's running for president. Mm -hmm. And midway through, Silk called me back. She said, girl, this is going to be our next president. And I've been loving him ever, ever since. since. Well, it would be nice to have a president that doesn't run the country down constantly and uh, try to ship our jobs overseas. I mean, I, I thought the Republicans were pretty bad before, I and mean, I was nonpartisan. But I got to say, Obama and the people that he works with really do seem like they have it out for this country. Well, you know what? We are survivors, and we're not going to cry over spilled milk. Right. What we want to do is put somebody in office that can clean up the milk, that's and right. that's why we stop for Trump, and that's why we want him to be our next president. That's right. Well, ladies, you've got the floor. I could ask a lot of questions, but let me hear from Diamond. Let me hear from Silk, each of you, your two minutes on why you like Donald Trump and what we can do to get Donald Trump elected. We like Donald Trump because Donald Trump wants to keep the American people safe. That's right. He wants to bring jobs back to this country. Did you know that companies like Ford Motor Company mm -hmm. ship their jobs to Mexico mm -hmm. to make products and manufacturing products mm -hmm. for no more than a couple of dollars and then bring those products over here That's for right. us to buy them for thirty, forty thousand dollars mm -hmm. This is what the American people need to know. Right. Listen, he wants to bring these jobs back where we can thrive. He, he Listen, he makes sense yeah. and he, 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 he's doing this in a common sense approach. Yeah. Exactly. That's why we should stop for Trump, and exactly. that's why we should put him in the White House. That's right. And while all the other candidates is talking politics, Donald Trump is talking common sense. And he's bringing a common sense approach to these issues that's going on right now in this world. Donald Trump is the man for the job. He's a businessman. He knows economics. Mm -hmm. We're having economic issues right now. Guess what? What? He needs to be in the White House. He needs to be in the White House. And we got to stop robbing Peter to pay Paul, yes. you all. We got to stop that way of thinking because that's not going to get us nowhere. And listen, you never going to attain the American dream by getting a handout. That's we right. need somebody that's going to give us a handout yes. and show us how it's done. That's right. Yes, that's why we stop for Trump. Yeah. Well, I know this. Donald Trump's saying a lot of stuff that's true, and his businesses are based on having a thriving economy. He's the type of billionaire that will probably go under if the, if the recession continues much longer. So that might be the motive for him actually wanting to do the right thing. There's so many other powerful elites, though, that want a managed, controlled economy, not a free market. And I just wonder what they're going to try next to try to stop Donald Trump. We don't know, and that's why the American people have to get behind him. Yes. Stop look, listening to the media biasness and yep. his propaganda mm -hmm. and the things that they keep spinning. It's the weapon. It's a weapon that they use to put doubt in the American people' mind. That's right. We've always allowed them to do it, but they mm -hmm. won't do it this time. No, they won't. Get behind your candidate yes. if you are a Democrat. Switch your party today exactly. so that we can vote our candidate in office. And Donald stay Trump. on message. And stay on message. Yes. And stay on point. We're not about to fight. We are about the message. That's the message and getting this country to move it again. That's well, I like that. That's positive that you don't end fight with the other candidates and stuff. You just stay on message. But I tell you, I think the mainstream media is out of bullets. The more they attack him, the more they demonize him and, and make stuff up or exaggerate it or take it out of context, the more people like Donald Trump. I think he's kind of lessened some of his hardcore message lately. That may be why he hasn't you know, grown as fast, but but he also exposed the vaccines that we should have a right to not take them and we're giving the kids too many. Uh, he's also been exposing the fact that, uh, that, that there is a radical Islamic invasion of this country. Uh, he's talked about the fact that there's been a plan to deindustrialize the nation. Uh, he has said that uh, the whole gun control movement's failed and, and that we should have, you know, a right to concealed carry just comes with the Constitution. So I tell you, he's really, really getting good and I wonder if Donald Trump himself has woken up or this is who he always was. Because the Donald Trump of 20 years ago was a lot more liberal. And so maybe he's just changed with the times. But I know he plugged us whenever uh, Joe Biggs caught drug dealing on the border the day that Trump was there. Uh, so, I mean, I know he does, uh, uh, he does seem to have a hardcore stance. He even talked about our Hillary shirt, our Hillary for prison shirt, uh, and said that he liked it. Uh, so he does seem to be pretty hardcore. I just wonder what the establishment's going to do to try to shut him down. Well, I'll tell you what, whatever they try to do, the trickery and the fakery is not going to work because no. we, the American people, yes. is behind Donald Trump. Yes. And we see it. We see it, and we stop for Trump, yes. and we want him in the White House. That's right. That's who we want in the White House. Right. Yes. All right, ladies, I know you guys got to get back to work. We appreciate you. you got a few minutes left here. Uh, we're talking to Diamond and Silk. Uh, two political commentators popular on YouTube.
a uh, great example for other folks to get involved, have your voice be heard, whatever your views are, diamondandsilk.com. In closing, uh, how would you ladies like to leave us? Listen, if you are a Democrat yes. and you need to switch your party, switch your party today, baby. That's right. So that you can vote for Donald Trump in the primaries yes. is what we want you to do. And guess what? For my African-Americans, in case y'all...